I met you in the club and A look at the Lakers as they get off the team bus after arriving at the arena. Pumped up to go after a road win here tonight. Happy weekend, everyone. It's the NBA on Saturday night, presented to you live on 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the San Antonio Spurs as they play against the Los Angeles Lakers. Joined by Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Ali LaForce, I'm Brian Anderson. We are now into November, so let's check in on the standings in the Western Conference. Looking at the Lakers, in second now, but wanting to claim that top seed. And checking out the Spurs, far behind in the standings. When I look at the Lakers, many of us experts earmark them as favorites this season. And you know what? They have not disappointed thus far. They're just getting warmed up. As good as they've been so far, they've got the potential and the talent to get even better as we get deeper into this season. And we've got just enough time for a pregame report. Let's go over to the sidelines where Allie LaForce is standing by. Allie? Well, guys, LeBron James, arguably the most versatile player in league history. He said, quote, I don't have a position. I'm not a point guard, a shooting guard, a small forward, a power forward, or a center. I'm just a ball player. I do a little bit of everything and whatever it takes to win. That's my job description. This guy's one of one, Allie. Thank you. Just about at the halfway point of the season. Plenty of games left to watch and so many different ways to watch. B.A., how about this? I can watch any game in the league right now on my phone. That's just unreal. I just love what the NBA has done, making the game accessible anywhere. And the Lakers starting five. LeBron is the four with Davis at the go. five as they go small. D'Angelo Russell is out there with Malik Beasley. And it's Achimura in at the three. And for the Spurs. At the two and the three, it's Vassell and Johnson. Johnson is out there with Zach Collins. And it's Jones in at the one. Rising up with force. Once LeBron takes flight, just get out of his way. Pass to Johnson. Jones against Russell. He got a piece of it. Now Davis. Uneasy, too, on the layup. You see the weight that AD's added to his frame over the years. Now invites contact. Jones, the pass to Vassell. Johnson, a screen on Davis. Davis against Johnson. No good with a layup. On offense, here are the Lakers. Four-point game. Coming into this, having knocks to win against San Antonio in their last game. And it wasn't just their starters putting in work. Their backups were real spark plugs on offense. It was a total team effort in terms of passing the baton to the guy that's hot. Now here's Johnson, a reliable offensive contributor, putting up almost 14 a game on the wing, Jones. Collins with a screen on Russell. Four on the clock. Jones drives in for three. Collins... Fires in the triple. Hey, when he's hitting that shot, it really helps the spacing for this team. Keeps the defense guessing. They don't know who to try to take away. And just one of the most impressive titles in league history, guys. 2020 Lakers winning it all in the Orlando bubble. A testament to LeBron James and that team. Now here's Jones. Eight points in his last time out. Vassell outside. Back to Jones. Vassell outside. Shoots over Beasley. Vassell can't get it to go. You know, that 2020 bubble title for the Lakers, what made it so difficult? You know, B.A., the mental grind of all that time in the bubble. Three months in the same place. NBA player. Oh, throw it wow, down. You oh. Can you say elevation? Whoop. Entertaining fans and embarrassing opponents. AD showing us what it's all about. And how about our AT&T 5G slam cam? Couldn't have captured that play any better. Jones against Russell. Collins with a screen on Russell. Here's Jones. And Davis with the block. They are out of rhythm. One for five so far. 
You just need to calm down and reward your matchups. The shot by Russell, no good. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. James against Johnson. Pass to Collins. Back to Johnson. The three. The Lakers with a rebound. You know, they beat the Spurs during their last encounter in San Antonio. And they came away with the win because everyone contributed. The starters, the bench, they all played as a unit. Great scoring output from that second unit. Such a luxury to have that extra ammunition. Vassell outside. Collins with a screen on Beasley. Kicks it out to Collins. There's the three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Collins has got six points. Great pass from Devin. He's all about doing what's best for the team. It's stolen by Johnson. Outside Johnson. Left side Jones. And he drives in. Pass to Collins. And it's all tied up. Give him eight points now. Yeah, he has a really nice feel from that spot. And the size gives him a clear advantage. And with that height, he can get a clean look on any shot at any time. Here's Davis. No luck on that one. San Antonio goes the other way with it. A tough loss coming against the Lakers in their last game played. I'll tell you what, once things started to go downhill, their performance plummeted. It wound up getting pretty ugly. I was surprised they put up so little fight. That was not the team I expected to see that night. The cell can't get it to go. For Los Angeles, they've gone four of eight and looking in control. Beasley outside. Pass to Davis. Over Collins. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by Beasley. Davis has got his third basket on the night right there. The Spurs have gone only three for nine from the floor. I'm called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. I mean, there are some great guys in this league. Coach Greg Popovich sticks out. Just a tremendous person. I loved competing against his teams. Some changes now for the Lakers. Reeves is checked in for Achimura, and it's Schroeder in for Russell. Wesley averaging around five points a game. Pass to Birch from behind the arc. And he can't get that one. The Lakers in the lead. Now James. 20 points for him last game against the Spurs in San Antonio. And he didn't just put up big points. He beat everyone to the boards. Davis misses. San Antonio has gone two for four from range to start things off. 
Birch with a screen on Beasley. Here's Wesley. Off the left rim and out. For Los Angeles, they've gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Davis, the pass to Schroeder. And James launches it from deep. They get it back. And then Davis punches it home. So hard to keep AD off the glass. He's got the length, the timing, and the consistency of effort. Knocks down the long game. Slow defensive rotation causing a breakdown along the perimeter. The Lakers have got half their attempts to go. Six of 12. Outside Schroeder. Pass to Reeves. Launches it. Counted from distance. And both teams running long-range plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Johnson against James. Johnson passes to Birch. Oh, the stuff! This is what AD gives you at that end. He's made the all defensive first team multiple times. We've seen him make that shot, but not all that often. It's the kind of shot that gives Hero Ball a bad name and causes your coach to consider another line of work. And a second look at that rejection, taking no prisoners on defense there. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. Bates Diop, he's checked in for San Antonio. Bamba's checked in for Los Angeles. Walker comes in for Beasley. San Antonio on D. Trailing by four. Davis. Nice assist and nice finish. Solid play all the way around. And now almost all their points coming from the paint. And Anthony Davis on the NBA's top 75 list. Grant, you think that was a controversial selection? Well, I mean, it was mostly due to how young Davis still is. You can't argue with the all-NBA selection and numbers. And, of course, being a recent champion may have put him over the top. All right, let's take a look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for Los Angeles. They are making a statement so far on the defensive end, sending shots away in incredible fashion, loving the hustle. They're also managing to make lots of trouble for their opponent in transition. Right away, they're finding points on the break. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. chance to check out some stats for the last handful of seasons for LeBron James. And over the last five games, his field goal percentage has increased. And you can make a case his confidence as well because of this. And San Antonio has possession. Eight-point game. Pass to Sohan. Here's Wesley, covered by Schroeder. The shot by Wesley, no good. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Right side, Schroeder. Outside, Walker. Fires from deep. He can't get it to go. San Antonio goes the other way with it. 
46 left now in the first quarter. Here's Wesley, covered by Schroeder, looking to end the run. And Davis with the block. And Reeves pulls it down. He can't get anything to fall this quarter. And obviously, that's dragging the whole team down. Back to Walker. From deep three-point range. Offensive rebound. And that one's good. Davis. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Shoots from 12. Can't hit that one. Now the Lakers take it the other way. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. On the wing, Davis. Pass to Reeves. Here's Schroeder. Shot clock at six. From downtown. The shot won't fall. San Antonio's gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Covered by Schroeder. Here's Bates Diop. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Takes the three. Hits a three-pointer. There's 10 seconds left in the opening quarter. Left side shooter. No good on the buzzer beater. And so it's Anthony Davis making things happen for the Lakers. How about his shot blocking? He's been an intimidating presence out there. Back to the game after this break. We played through one quarter in this one. And from what we've seen from the Lakers, what's your take so far? Just excellent first quarter defense. They've been really getting after it. Yeah, they were very physical and very aggressive. They've just been the better team so far. Here's Jones. And Spurs coach Greg Popovich last season moving into first all-time for coaching wins, Graham. That's right, B.A. I mean, all those wins coming with one organization, the Spurs. Now, when he hangs up his whistle, he'll be in the conversation for the greatest coach in NBA history. On the court for the Lakers, we've got Mo Bamba. Rui Hachimura is out there with Jared Vanderbilt. Then it's Lonnie Walker, and it's Russell in at the point guard position. That's good from Jones. Well, teams are always hunting mismatches. Grant, I'll put it to you here. You prefer a speed advantage or a size advantage over your defender? Well, B.A., it's all about the mismatches. And going back to when I was young and actually had some speed, it, it, it was great to be able to have both, depending upon who you went against. If a smaller player guarded you, use your size to shoot right over them. And if a bigger defender was on you, then yes, Use your speed to turn the corner and get to the rim. So it depended upon who was guarding you. Russell from outside. Rebounded by the Spurs. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. On the wing, McDermott. Hachimura against Jones. There's the drive. Tries a 10-footer. No good that time. And the Lakers going the other way now. They've led by as much as 10. Their next game playing at home as the Pacers come to town. And that's the first of just two home games for them. Look at the power on that. He has to be one of the top dunkers in the game today. Jones' his shot is good. Showing off the dribble moves. Able to create for himself. I love it. The Lakers in the lead. Outside Russell to the left wing. His first shot coming late. That one's good from Achimura on the assist by Russell. 
rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. McDermott outside. Down to five on the shot clock. Screen by Roby. Spurs need to get one up here. Doesn't go that time. Good D by Vanderbilt. The Lakers have got two of three shots to go in the second. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Here's Walker. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. And it's a 10-point Los Angeles lead. They're punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Jones with the ball. Hachimura covering. Jones misses. The Lakers have gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. Pass to Russell. Hachimura in the post. Defended by Jones. And it's Hachimura missing. And that's okay. Even though you miss, you had the right guy taking the shot. Here in quarter two, we played a little over two and a half minutes now. Here's McDermott. Hook loose. And here's Russell. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. From deep. Rebounded by Roby. I know that he has the ability and confidence to sink that shot. <laughs> but better luck next time, maybe. You know what another option is? Just give the ball up. Let someone else make a play. Outside Russell. Pass to Achimura. Vanderbilt, a screen on McDermott. The three from Russell. Buries it from three. Russell's got his first three points of the game. No hesitation from Russell. I like seeing him make quick decisions and take these shots. Spins. Off the mark, and the drought continues. He's doing what he can to help them cut into this lead. His shot just isn't quite there tonight. Russell, a screen on McDermott. Here's Hachimura, and it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Back to Jones. Pass to Collins. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Hachimura outside. And here is Bamba. Collins defending. McDermott with the ball. Trains the triple. McDermott's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Doug McDermott is a very good catch-and-shoot basketball player. Now a timeout called by the Lakers. You know, this Lakers team is running with one of the most veteran squads in the league, Smitty. Tons of experience and wisdom on their bench. These are all battle-tested guys, B.A., who know how to overcome tough situations and win games. So both teams making some changes here. Let's have a look at the teams who have been shooting the ball the most consistently these past 10 games. Number one, Los Angeles. 
They've just been taking smarter, higher percentage shots, and they are hitting them with regularity right now. Here's Russell, giving them some nice offensive production with 13 points a game. Beasley outside, back to James. Clock at six. Now here's Russell, from deep three-point range. Rebounded by Roby. Well, so far, this cold night from the field has not affected their ability to maintain this lead. Johnson a screen on Russell. Pass to Johnson. Here's the three. Hachimura with a rebound. Hachimura's got four rebounds now. James outside. Down low. Outside for Russell. Fires for three. He buries it from three. Russell's got six points. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. Here's Wesley, guarded by Russell. Pass to Johnson. No good there. And they're ahead right now because they're working so hard on the glass. You know, you look at how they built this lead. It's been through extra possessions. Mm-hmm. Beasley for three. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. Beasley's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Pass to Roby. And he gets it to go. Roby's got this first bucket of the night. So good at the rim. A slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lay. Vanderbilt, a screen on Johnson. James passes to Vanderbilt. Here's Russell. The putback. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Lakers lead by 18. Now that takes serious effort and a light touch. No need to overdo it. Just lightly tip it in. Time called here. San Antonio decides to talk it over. Changing it up here. Here's Wesley. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. Such confidence as a passer. He hits guys in stride. It makes it look easy. 
James with the ball. Averaging almost 23 points a contest. A fantastic offensive player. Beasley outside. And out of bounds. San Antonio will have it. And now a look at the upcoming schedule for the San Antonio Spurs. On Wednesday, they kick off a road trip at Oklahoma City where they'll take on the Thunder. And then on Friday, they'll go up against C.J. McCollum and the New Orleans Pelicans. And that game against the Rockets, I'm sure they've been waiting for that one. And they're eager to see how they measure up against a quality opponent. Pass to Johnson. Johnson a screen on Davis. Back to Johnson. Just five to shoot. Oh, nice D from Schroeder. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Davis, the pass to Schroeder. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. I'm not sure what happened there. You just can't give away possessions in this league. Birch, he's checked in for Johnson. Ken Birch. San Antonio has gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Johnson a screen on Schroeder. Here's Wesley. No good. A bit long that time. I'm not sure the defense affected that shot. That was just a blown gimme. As for the Lakers, you think this is the last team LeBron plays for? You know, B.A., he certainly wants to play with his son. We know that. Now, whether that's in the purple and gold, only time will tell. It would definitely be fun to see them both with this storied franchise. And you look at the career that LeBron has put together. One of the all-time greats. He amazingly lived up to the hype he had coming out of high school. That free throw good from James. And the immense pressure LeBron has had since day one of the NBA. Many others would have folded, Grant. You're very true, B.A. The expectations he had were just insane. Anything less than a top five player all time would be a disappointment. That's not fair to ask of any player coming into the league, much less a high schooler. And so he makes both from the line. And Smitty, Greg Popovich, you'd play for him. His 27th season as coach of the Spurs. How many more do you think he has in him? Well, B.A., he's, he's accomplished everything one could hope to in his career. I mean, he has five titles, B.A., most wins in NBA coaching in history. Now he's just coaching for the love. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Here's Wesley, covered by Schroeder. Outside Johnson. Some solid D from Beasley. Los Angeles has gone 50% from the perimeter in the second, shooting four of eight. Pass to Davis. Now James. Outside for Davis. Here's Reeves, covered by Johnson. Here's Schroeder. San Antonio with a rebound. It's a quick turnaround on the road. Just one game. Now here's Birch. Pass to Johnson. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Getting to the line. Something this team wants more of from Keldon Johnson. At the line for San Antonio, Keldon Johnson. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. What I like about Keldon Johnson, he doesn't settle. Most of his shots come from inside the line.
That's off as well, so he misses both. And they seem to have taken a more heads-on approach this quarter, <laughs> and it's getting them to the free throw line. For three. James with the rebound. Let's go with a three. Oh, he got it up in time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And so it's Los Angeles sitting on a comfortable 21-point lead at the end of the quarter. Their defensive efforts have paid off, effectively shutting down the opposing offense. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks. I'm here with Coach Popovich. And, Pop, I know you're not happy with the first half. They've taken the fight to you thus far. How do you take it back? Yeah, they've been the, the aggressive team. I think we played really soft so far. Really pathetic defensive performance. Coach, hopefully more toughness from your team in the second half. Thanks. All right, good stuff, Allie. And we'll get back to the action at the start of the third quarter. Hello basketball fans, Anthony Davis has been the story of this game so far. An incredible start. I like that he hasn't settled. Getting what he wants in the paint, he's wearing those boys down. Yeah, a man among men tonight. No one's really stood up to him. And now, let's focus on a couple of guys who have been getting it done in the first half. A couple of guys locking horns tonight. Neither one of them backing down, as you would expect. You can tell both teams are giving these guys space to work. And they're taking advantage of the opportunities. Thanks, as always, for watching. Let's head back to Brian Anderson and crew for the start of the second half. After a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. A fantastic game from Anthony Davis in this one. When he got good position and they got the ball to him, he was automatic. I have to credit them for their patience offensively. They understood the matchup and they took the necessary time to exploit it. Just about ready for the second half here. A big comeback is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. At the two and the three, it's Vassell and Johnson. Zach Collins out there with Johnson, and it's Jones in at the point. So that's who Greg Popovich starts the second half with. Pass to Davis, out to Beasley. The Lakers with the rebound. The three, James. No luck on that one. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Russell against Jones. Johnson a screen on Russell. Jones, the pass to Johnson. Here's Vassell. The three is up. Sends it home from three-point land. Vassell's gotten himself going here. His first point of the game on the deep ball. Hachimura outside. Pass to James. Inside, here's Davis, and Davis slams it home. Back in the day, big man would carry your offense.
times have changed. But 80s, one who can still do it. Jones, the pass to Johnson. Johnson a screen on Achimura. It's Johnson with a drive over James. James with the block. Pass to Russell. Third quarter here, over a minute and a half into it. Back to Achimura. James inside. Johnson on him. The shot by James. No good. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. Count it. Hassell's got five points in the quarter. Taking advantage of the defense. Devin got inside, and you see what happened. Achimura outside. Pass to Beasley. The three-pointer off the mark. Very cool start to the second half. One for five, looking for some continuity. Now Jones, checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Collins a screen from deep. Johnson, James with the rebound. James has got four rebounds in the game. You want to talk about ugly? This team is losing, partly because he hasn't drained a shot all night. San Antonio has gone only one of three from deep here in the third. You know, Anthony Davis has had his share of injury struggles, having to miss valuable games at times. Jones up top, guarded by Russell. And stolen by Beasley. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Pass to James. Outside Russell. Nice shot from 10 feet out. Russell's got eight. You know the thing with AD, he's always bounced back from his injuries. I totally agree with you, B.A. It's a true credit to his resiliency, physically and mentally as well. Timeout called, the Spurs. the Lakers with some changes. Bombas checked in for Anthony Davis. Vanderbilt comes in for James. And it's Walker in for Beasley. Third quarter of basketball here. A little under three and a half minutes gone by. Second personal foul. First team foul. Outside Jones. Pass to Collins. McDermott against Achimura. Shot clock at six. Here's Jones. 
That shot is off. Good work defensively by Russell. Here's Walker. Good D by McDermott. San Antonio has gotten 6 of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. The baseline, J. And once again, off the mark by San Antonio. Los Angeles has gotten nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Thanks, guys. The NBA last season celebrated its 75th anniversary and announced the 75 greatest players in NBA history, gathering the living greats during the All-Star break. A lot of history, but Commissioner Silver said, we're a pretty young league when you think about it. Brian, I guess it's all relative. Yeah, indeed. Thanks for that, Allie. All right, a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Lakers. What I love and the coaching staff has to love is the defense. They've really brought the energy with all these blocks we've seen in this one. Well, something else that has stood out to me has been their aggressiveness on the boards. They're just out-muscling the opposition on the offensive glass. Free throw no good for Achimura. Over the years, no team in the NBA has had more star power than the Lakers. They always have at least one future Hall of Famer on the roster. On the wing, Jones, guarded by Russell. To the right side, 4-3. Rebound by the Lakers. Bamba's got his seventh rebound here tonight. You know, when we talk about the Lakers, you expect them to have a superstar. B.A., starting with Wilt in the 60s, then Kareem during the 70s, Magic dominating the 80s, and more recently, Shaq and Kobe, LeBron and A.D., the biggest names, flock to L.A. To the middle. Here's Roby. Lays it up and banks it in. Roby's got his second bucket on the night. Rock-solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Let's it go from 11. That shot off. And San Antonio will go the other way with it. And the truth is, this league would have been much bigger had he shot better. Collins passes to Jones. Up top, Collins. Give him eight. Here's McDermott. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. McDermott on your squad is like having a guy that you can rely on knocking down shots from the stretch four position. And the play-in tournament has been a success. But some debate about whether the stats should count towards postseason stats. Granted, it kind of falls in the abyss. How do you think we should reconcile? Well, B.A., first of all, it is the postseason. It's exciting. Everyone's watching. So much is on the line. This is high-pressure elimination games. And, yes, there have been some great performances that we've seen in the play-in tournament thus far. So I think these stats should be included in postseason numbers for players. Reeves is checked in for the Lakers. Schroeder comes in for Russell. And he makes the first, but misses the second. Los Angeles has got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Pass to Reeves. Puts it up from 12. Rebounded by Birch. Birch has got four rebounds now. Here's Wesley, covered by Schroeder. McDermott with the ball. This one for three. Vanderbilt pulls it in. Outside Schroeder. Pass to Reeves. Back to Schroeder. Here's Reeves. Fires the three. Rebound San Antonio. Birch has got five rebounds in the game. Here's Wesley. Covered by Schroeder. Birch with a screen on Walker. Here's McDermott. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. McDermott's got six. Let's not forget, at 6'8", Doug McDermott has the ability to be a scoring threat inside the paint. Back to Schroeder. Pass to Reeves. There's a screen. Out to Schroeder. Now Bamba. 
Outside Walker. Oh, they need this. Rebounded by the Spurs. Here's Sohan. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Wesley. And the layup is good. Be a great find from Sohan. This is why his guys like playing with him. The Lakers shooting only 42%. Pass to Schroeder. Out to the right wing. Here's Reeves. Down the pipe it goes. Schroeder with the assist. Schroeder's got his third assist of the night. Here's Wesley, covered by Schroeder. The shot by Wesley, no good. Los Angeles has gone just one of six from long distance here in the third. The shots just aren't falling. A minute 50 left in the third. Back to Walker. Launches a three. The rebound by the Spurs. Birch has got six rebounds here tonight. San Antonio's got six out of 15 three so far in this game. And Lonnie Walker IV is an athletic guard and a confident three-point shooter, Smitty. B.A., I like that he has leaned in to becoming a volume perimeter shooter as of late. Realizing that he can be very valuable shooting the ball. And that's how you defend. He wasn't showing any mercy with that swat. Yeah, what a play. I mean, that'll have the offense thinking twice about taking shots in his presence. Both teams will make substitutions. Outside Jones. Six on the shot clock. There's a screen by Birch. Unloads from 13. Yes, it's good. Jones has got five now. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. 1-10 left to play in the third quarter. It's James on the wing. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. No one can make headlines like LeBron. There was a ton of buzz when he talked about teaming up with his son in the NBA someday. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Beasley comes in for Walker. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. You know, whether it happens or not, I think everyone would like to see LeBron and his son play together, Smitty. B.A., I think it would be one of the coolest things to take place in the league. We've seen it in other sports, but for it to happen in the NBA, it would be awesome. LeBron with the rebound. Los Angeles shooting a low 28% during this third. Pass to Schroeder. James, outside. From outside, off the mark. And the Spurs shooting poorly at only 28%. Here's Bates Diop. Outside Jones. Here's Sohan. LeBron with the rebound. James has got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Davis. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. James has got three assists now in this one. And here's Jones. For three. That misses. Would have counted had it gone. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers sitting on a comfortable 21-point lead at the end of the quarter. They've had incredible success defensively, taking away good looks and pressuring shooters. And don't go far. We'll be right back. It's time to bring up the State Farm Assist to the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels.
And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. And so in the game for Los Angeles, LeBron is the four with Davis at the five as they go small. Malik Beasley is out there with D'Angelo Russell. And it's Reeves in at the three. Beasley, the pass to James. And here's Russell. No good from outside. Sometimes it's just not your night. Fortunately, his teammates have picked up the slack. Pass to Jones. Outside Johnson. And we've heard the cautionary tales in the past. Does it seem like players today are getting better financial advice, in your opinion, Grant, to make their money last? Yeah, B.A., I think they're getting better financial advice, but I also think that the times that we're in, I think there's more awareness. Players understand the pitfalls or potential setbacks, uh, the social media, digital age, all the information's there. So players today, yes, they're making more money, and I actually think they're doing a better job of protecting and saving their money, too. Kept alive. Misses in close. And the Lakers shooting about 43% in this one. Jones against James. Let's the three fly. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson's got his fourth rebound in this one. And a little over a minute and a half gone by in the fourth. To the wing on the left. He drops it from range. That's a shot the defense looked like it was willing to give up. Big mistake. It's James on the wing. Outside for Russell. Puts up a three. Offensive rebound. James can't get it to go. The Spurs have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Pass to Jones. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. And the layup is good off the glass. It's not easy to work the ball inside in this league, but they've done it all night. Now here is James. Looking to get it going. The fader outside for Russell. Here's Davis. Ooh, tough break there. Shot after shot, they couldn't get anything to fall. Pass to Jones. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. James with the block. Impeccable timing on the rejection. You better watch out when LeBron is around. Russell from outside. The shot's good on the assist by James. James has got his fourth assist in this one. The defense was just nowhere to be found, and because of that, he adds to their lead. You can't afford to give him space. Those kinds of mistakes have been the story of this game. It's going to be on LeBron James. That's his first foul. Well, Smitty, instant replay is here to stay. A big part of the game. How has it impacted the NBA, you think? Well, I think fans and players love that you get it right during crunch time. The one thing I think that can help is the speed up replay. That's what everybody is complaining about. Roby, he's checked in for San Antonio. And the Lakers also making a switch. Hachimura's checked in. Back to Johnson. Pass to Johnson. The three is up. Johnson finds Johnson. San Antonio again missing. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the exact opposite. And let's face it, they won't get back in the game with fouls like that. First, and the Spurs first, making a change here. First team foul. Substitution for your Spurs. Zach Collins. Devin Bissett. Russell to pass to James. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Great scores have this ability. Let LeBron get that close. That's two points or a trip to the line. For the Lakers, LeBron James, two shots.
Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That one's off. Well, Grant, this is the business you and I are in. NBA has a couple of years with existing TV partners. How much are we going to see things change with the next deal, you think? Oh, B.A., this is interesting as this continues to evolve. I think as people's viewing habits have changed in the last 10 to 15 years, I think live sports and the NBA game is still something fans love to see in real time. I think also the fact that we can also attract a larger audience is exciting. I don't know how it'll all play out, but I know it'll be fun to follow and watch as we go. Vassell, right side. Just four to shoot. From deep, Johnson. James with the block. He's been scoreless for a while now. They're still trailing here. They might want to move to some other options offensively. Davis with it. To the paint. And then Russell with the dunk. And you see the team first mentality of Anthony Davis wanting to involve his teammates. Here's Jones. Makes the most of the high percentage shot. Los Angeles has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Pass to Davis. Shoots over Collins. They grab their own miss. It's good. Great game for him. Double-double now. He's one of those guys who is extra difficult to block out. When LeBron really wants a rebound, it's hard to beat him to the ball. Now here's Collins. Checked by Davis. A step back shot. The shot, no good. And Los Angeles the other way now. Here's Reeves. Now Russell. And he's going for the oop here. And finished off by Davis. What a beautiful play. And it was great timing. Then the athletic finish by AD. Pass to Johnson. Davis for the rebound. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. Back to James. Here's Reeves. Here's Davis. Again, the Lakers score. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Pass to Collins. Now here's Johnson. Fires the three. The Lakers with a rebound. James has got rebound number 11. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. Down low, Davis. And finished off by Davis. Well, you know, it's already tough to play like this at home, but it's even tougher to do so on the road. They built up this huge league with great play at both ends. They're going to love watching film tomorrow. Collins finds Vassell. And once again, off the mark by San Antonio. The Lakers have gone 7 for 15 in the fourth. Outside Russell takes the three. The rebound by the Spurs. Collins has got four rebounds in the game. San Antonio has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. Jones, the pass to Vassell. To the inside. Here's Collins. And then it's Collins with the dunk. He may give up a little size, but has to bounce to hold his own. James, outside. When you see players make that leap from star to superstar, think about guys like Giannis and Jason Tatum. I mean, what is that step like? You did it. Well, it's interesting. You know, you come into the league and, and, and you have success right away, but at some point, everything just clicks. 
It could be year four, year five, year six, usually in that window where now you figure things out and now you take that next step and become elite. Now, B.A., you know, I'm hoping that things start to click with me and my golf game. It's been about four or five years there, too. Superstar status is not in the cards for you on the golf course, Grant. <laughs> it's about health. When A.D. is, he's a major force, a nightly double-double threat with incredible length and athleticism. Both free throws good from Davis. And the Spurs with possession here. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Outside Jones. A minute 50 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Wesley. Sinks the trade. Wesley. And there's a minute 45 left in the fourth quarter here. And here's Schroeder. Pass to James. Outside Davis. Five on the clock. Screen by Bamba. Pulls up, high post. Davis can't hit. San Antonio's gone two of six so far in the fourth. And let's face it, this one was never really in question. They came out with purpose and just overwhelmed the opposition. A great win for the Lakers. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And this is a nice victory for them. It's win number 14 of the year. It's just a great matchup for them. And they're looking for the four-game season sweep in their next meeting. And when you look at the game, the one thing that helped fuel this team to victory was the efficiency for Anthony Davis. I thought he did a good job of filling out the defense early on. Then once he found his groove, he stayed aggressive throughout. And he makes a first. Recently, we've seen a few super teams put together. But it hasn't always been an automatic recipe for success, Smitty. Well, B.A., a lot of times you see those super teams on paper. It's all about execution on the floor. And the biggest factor that sometimes hampers super teams is health. And that could be a big factor in upsetting your plans. Los Angeles has gone just one of six from downtown in this final quarter. Schroeder passes to James. And here is Vanderbilt. Outside Walker from behind the arc. He's off on that one. There's 49 seconds left in the final quarter. Pass to Jones. Here's Roby, guarded by Vanderbilt. And he'll draw a foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's going to be on Mo Bamba. Third team foul. At the line for San Antonio, Trey Jones. Two shots. That's good from Jones. Jones hits them both. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth. James, a screen on Jones. Pass to Vanderbilt. To the middle. The kick out to Walker. Three-pointer. They get it again. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Excellent effort on the road. They've literally sucked the energy out of this arena. And when you're on the road, you can't be tentative coming into a game like this. I thought their aggressive approach was the difference. Now here's Schroeder. 
So we see the Lakers taking the W here. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. LeBron, there was a struggle tonight offensively, but what positives can you take away from this victory? Well, uh, every game is a learning experience for us, and uh, I think today was another one of those being able to win an ugly game when you don't play well offensively. You know, to be able to pull out a win like that in ugly fashion, that was a big step for us. Definitely relied on other parts of your game, and you got the W. Thanks, LeBron. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Steve Smith, this is Brian Anderson with our 2K Sports crew signing off as we present our New Balance player of the game, Anthony Davis.